Advantages of Individual Cylinder Direct Injection Gasoline Direct Injection GDI engines achieve improved fuel economy when operating in ultra-lean burn mode under very light loading or deceleration. In this mode, fuel is injected not during the intake stroke but during the latter stage of the compression stroke. The GDI engines are able to combust a stratified charge that is richer near the spark plug but overall as lean as 65-1 air fuel ratio. Stratified charge combustion restricts the burn to an island of a fuel and air surrounded by mostly pure air which keeps the flame away from the cylinder walls for reduced heat loss and lowered exhaust emissions. No throttling loses on some gasoline direct injection engines. So when the engine speed and output are controlled by ignition timing and injected fuel mass rather than by throttling engine air intake. GDI engines achieve improved performance in stoichiometric or performance mood by combusting a homogeneous mixture achieved by injecting fuel during the intake stroke as pressures as high as 3000 psi, which improves combustion via improved atomization of fuel molecules and improved air fuel mixing in the cylinders. GDI engine performance can be further improved in some cases by a second injection of additional fuel late during the power stroke, and particularly on turbocharger power plants, but also um, the problem with exhaust valve irritation from some fuel octanes caused some engine manufacturers to eliminate fuel stratified injection during normal operation. The extremely high injection pressure of the GDI systems improves the atomization of injected fuel enough that improved fuel vaporization actually chills the intake air enough to improve the density and lower combustion temperatures. Compared to 40-70 psi pressure of a multi-burt EFI systems, the extremely high rail pressure allows the GDI systems increased flexibility of injection timing and fuel apply rate which can be tuned via pressure in the common rail and number of injection events. The combined with the twin cam electronic cam facing, the GDI systems can vary valve overlap, injection timing, ignition timing to heat catalyst lighting fast on a cold start and spool turbochargers much faster by using large valve overlap and retarded fuel and ignition timing to blow some turbo boosts through the combustion chamber to supply a combustible mixture in the exhaust. In the early 1990s, many new electronic fuel injection vehicles still utilized factory electronic fuel injection conversions of formerly carbureted engines, uh, such as the 5.0 liter Mustang and the TPI 5.0, 5.7 Camaro or Corvette, and in some cases, such vehicles had separate or quasi-separate distributor-based ignition systems, along with the instrumentation and chassis electrical systems that were not integrated with the engine management system. In those days, virtually all onboard systems, with exception of idle and light cruise fuel air mixture trim and idle speed stabilization algorithms, had no means of detecting if commanded engine management actions were successful. If the computer ordered the opening of solenoid valve, it had to assume that the valve had opened. Many early 1990s aftermarket EFI engine tuning strategies for modified hot rod power plants worked by inciting the factory computer into providing more or less correct fuel enrichment and ignition timing on engines with upgraded volumetric efficiency during high output operation using mechanical or electrical tricks that uh, might say substitute fast engine sensor data, such as artificially um, low engine coolant temperature uh, that would cause the engines to run rich during boosted conditions, or by dynamically altering injection fuel pressure with artificial means, such as variable rate of gain fuel pressure regulator, such as the calculated and commanded injection pools, 
uh, with uh, will deliver more fuel during turbo boost. A few enterprising companies offered uh, performance PROMs that could easily be swapped into factory engine management systems such as the General Motors tuned port injection. These provided alternate tables of RPM and load based values for a fuel injection pulse with uh, and spark advance that improved power with premium fuel calibrations or provided modified internal fuel and spark tables calibrated specifically for certain packages of hot rod cams and uh, other hot rod engine parts and several standalone programmable aftermarket engine management systems were also available and the most successful of which uh, was the Haltech F3 and the F3 was an EFI only system with an installed base of maybe 2000 systems that could not manage ignition tasks at all this was all about to change